Hi everyone, myself Jyoti Prasad. I am from RMD Engineering College. Regarding computer organization and architecture, we are going to see sequential circuit multiplier today. So what is meant by sequential multiplier? The earlier one we have seen the carry look ahead adder. Uh, the next one uh, like the next arithmetic operations like multiplier we will have two types of uh, arithmetic operations multiplication sign uh, multiplication of signed numbers unsigned numbers multiplication of unsigned numbers will be very easy thing no no sign for the both the things both the things are positive but uh, the how it will carry is the sequential circuit multiplication we are going to see now in the next video we are going to see about uh, signed signed multiplier sign numbers multiplier so that will be taken by another type of booth multi multiplier algorithm so here unsigned numbers how we are going to execute a multiplication means here we the main thing is this control sequencer if we see this control sequencer if we, if the, this control sequencer whatever the bit carries in the last one if it is one we will do the add and shift method so if it is one we will do first addition we will do addition and uh, shift operation right shift and if it is zero we will do without addition we will do shifting so this will be done using this circuit in a cyclic operation so we have taken a flip flop called c to carry the r to make a note of the count so for example we are doing an operation on four bit the less the count will be a four the first iteration the count is four thereby in the next when it is coming to the second cycle it is 3 2 1 when it is 0 the operation will be stopped uh, when it is stopped the last a and q will be the a register is a temporary register initially it is 0 assigned to 0 whenever the operation is uh, done finished the a q registers contents will be the answers let us check how we are going to perform this in a sequential multiplier i am taking I am taking M register multiplicand. This is multiplicand. This is multiplier. A is multiplier. So this is nothing but 13. This is 11. So it is M bit is multiplicand. You keep at one side. Initially, I have taken A register 0. Count as a, a 0. That will be uh, taken. So C register, control register, control register. So here the control register. See, Q is a Q is a register where I am taking the multiplier multiplier values. I have loaded C initially zero, A is initially zero. Q is loaded with multiplier content. In the first stage, I will check for the control bit here, like we have explained in the previous circuit diagram. If it is one, I should do addition. So this first step do addition. Then after addition, we need to do the shift operation. This is a shift operation. So first addition means so the initial contents of this one a is added with m. A is added with m. A plus m. A plus m. So then the m value will come here as the one of the operand is all zeros. A plus m is nothing but m will come here. So this is a a plus m addition operation is performed. The q value will be same as it is. After performing this one, we are going to shift the bits. So initial bit 0 will come here and the first bit in this previous step will come here. Likewise, everything will be shifted to the next bit, right shift once. So it is a right shift from left to right, right shift. So after performing the shift operation, we will stop. So this is the first cycle. One addition and one shifting is the first cycle. In the second cycle, we will check for the control bit ending of the first cycle i will check for control bit same one is there so if one is there control bit we will do addition in the first step and second and then shifting so we want to add with which content so the present content of the current content of this a register is add to be added with m register okay so how will it be performed we want to perform this one separately so we want to perform this one separately so here see i am performing here the current register is 0 double 1 0 0 double 1 is a 0 is the current contents of a so this is added with m 
m is 1101 so m i have taken up uh, 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 here and present a contents i have taken here i have added so at last we will have carry one that will be ignored so the resultant double zero double one i have taken here the current m value after addition a plus m so the q value remains same so in the routine operation first i have done add then i want to do shift so this one will come here and it will shift right shift right here so from here to here from here to here and this one will come to here so shifting operation has been done so after performing the shifting operations uh, this is the second cycle ends second cycle ends In the third cycle we need to check for control bit control bit is zero so that's why we don't need to do addition so we will copy the contents or we will same produce or reproduce the same line on the previous one we are not doing any operation then we are doing shifting in the next uh, next routine zero so this one will come here and the, this one will come here as it is shifted so i will check for the, then third cycle has been finished third cycle has been finished so now i will check for the control uh, control um, control bit so the, in the third cycle the control bit is one so that's why we need to do again add and shift operation so the current contents is zero one double zero this should be added with the m multiplicand so you do a separate operation addition operation then we will get zero 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 one so this is the contents so we will write the previous contents of q as it is so now the addition operation is performed the next thing is we will need to shift the bit so i need to shift each bit so in the zero this zero will come here so likewise uh, this one will come here here likewise so uh, this is the fourth cycle here the count will be zero so after four, as the bits are four in the multiplier the four count is there so after finishing fourth cycle the, this will be ended so at last we need result what will be the result is the product is nothing but put together this is the result the last stage what we have a and q together that is the result so you might have a doubt that what is the how many bits will be the output so we are taking four four bit multiplier four bit multiplicand four bit multiplier four bit multiplicand so say so n plus m so the addition of two bits is nothing but four plus four eight so the resultant will be in eight bits so put together this is the answer so if you want you can convert this one into decimal and you can check so this is the operation of sequential multiplier <coughs> thank you so much